hi guys how have you been how is everything it's your girl no it's your lady boy grandma guy and today i want us to talk about casper i want us to go straight to the point i want to explain casper in a layman's language from my own experience and uh yeah in a simple language according to how i know it according to how it it came to me you understand uh, i know if you are aspiring to do a medical course or maybe your organization needs you to do caspa exam and you're familiar with these terms mostly for those who are uh, who are looking forward to joining medical schools in europe and america at some point in the beginning you'll be required to do a caspa test i know that i understand there's some institutions that require you to do uh, exams like MCAT. MCAT has, I understand, has to do with chemistry and biology. But today we are talking about CASPA. Yeah. So CASPA uh, is, a, is a situational assessment test. What does that mean? It means it is testing your ability to deal with a situation so you're presented with a situation and how you answer the questions so you're presented with a situation and they ask how you can deal with that situation basically and your answer will determine the kind of a person that you are the characteristics that you possess as a person for instance let me make you understand if you met somebody that is probably a pastor who you meet them drunk in the morning, let's say this person meets five people. Do you know these people will, de will behave differently? This one, okay, the first person might decide to ask them, why are you drunk? You're a pastor. You're evil. Someone else might tell them, might even, you know, end their friendship and be, be mean to them, verbally abuse them. And there could be someone in the same group who will want to know what's going on. Hey, what's going on? Are you okay? Do you need help? What's going on? Zero judgment. You understand? So the same situation but different reactions. And these reactions are triggered by the kind of a person that you are. What do you have as a person? What are your characteristics? You understand? So this situational, you know, situation, these situations that are presented in Casper are to assess you as a person. What values do, do you possess? Are you an empath, which is the, you know, an empath, someone who, are you kind? You know, mostly, are you kind? Are you someone who can follow the ethics in an organization? What kind of person are you, really? how you deal with situations believe it or not will tell the kind of a person that you are so let's go to my experience in casper so the institution that i was supposed to to, to give my casper results to send me a link and i clicked onto the link and this link took me to to, to took me somewhere and where it took me to was Alta's Suit. Alta's Suit is a, I, I don't want to say a website, but it's a, yeah, it's a website. It's a, an assessment body. So when you find yourself in the Alta Suit, you will be required to, I don't know which came first, but yeah, you will be required to create an account. You'll have a username and a password. And don't forget them because you're going to use them later in your assessment it is the doc it is the things you it is the information you will use to log in okay so keep that in mind okay you will pay seventy dollars i did pay you will use your card to do that okay and then you will receive an email that you paid and that you have an account and um you will also so you'll do those things you'll do three things you pay you create an account whichever comes first one of those 
create an account, uh, pay $70, uh, receive an email. Uh, yeah, you also have to choose a date. You'll be given, you'll be presented with dates that the CASPER exam is available and you will choose. And something I noted, I had not even noted that. I was in London at the time, so I was presented. My, my, my one, my exam was, my assessment was supposed to take place in at 10 p.m. American time. That means that was uh, 1 a.m. London time, you know. So I didn't note that at first. And uh, I realized a few days to my exam, oh my God, I'm supposed to be awake at one. I'm supposed to be in front of my laptop, you know. So yeah, be very, understand the time, understand your time. If if the time you choose is 10 p.m., it, is, it may not be the time in your, in your part of the continent. So you have to understand that wherever you are in the world. So I read, it is 10 p.m. What time? Is it GBT? Is it whatever, you know? So, yeah. So, account, 70 pounds, choose date. You receive an email. And in that email, be keen to go through it because it will guide you on how you can revise for the CASPA. Okay, personally, I don't... I don't think I needed to revise for the Casper because um, who am I? I also wanted to know who I am as a person. How can I deal with these situations? I wanted to experience it as raw as possible. But if whatever you're going to do with the exam is so serious and you really want to pass it, I would advise you do research on how to revise for the Casper. Uh, read that email. It will also direct you to the places where you can revise for it in the outer suit because it is the exam examining body or the assessment body they obviously have materials on where you're supposed to study for it but if you are a good person i don't know how to put it but if you it will it will by the end of the day it will just show the kind of person that you are but yeah there's there are a few things you need to know uh, i have worked as a support worker so i know I know things like there was this question that I came across in Casper and it was asking me, so you have a patient in bed and then in the morning when you, you, you go to attend to them, you find them on the floor and uh, they are not hurt. You ask them how they are doing. They say they are okay and you, you put them back to bed. Um, so question, are you supposed to report that? Okay, why would you report and they are okay, they are fine? But you know, you're supposed to report. You are supposed to report regardless of how, regardless of the trouble that it will cause you, you have to report because this this patient could have an internal injury and you don't know, you know? And then, so you report, the answer should consist of you reporting and explaining why maybe the person, maybe you didn't, you know, maybe you, how you, why you think the patient was on the floor. Maybe you had so many patients to attend to. Maybe you need, you know, more force, more force, more labor. You need more people to attend to these, you know, patients, you know. So the key thing is you have to report. That is the ethics. So being in the support work also assisted my CASPER experience. My, you know, my CASPER, yeah, my CASPER exam because there are, there are just things that you're taught in the care industry, if you work with NHS or, you know, health, health, the health sector, you'll be equipped with these things. But if you're fresh and you've never experienced these things, I would advise you to go and go through, okay, not to stress too much about it because some of these things really are just using your mind, knowing how to deal with the situation in a, in a logical way, in a way that is, that you that will not bring you out as a cruel person or a judgmental person you understand so that is the main idea of casper so so assessment to test your characteristics 
and personally i would say it is also just in your <laughs> typing speed okay a joke but yeah it does you have to be really fast you don't have time to think so your personality will just come out anyway because you don't have time to think or you need to write so the exam day came i remember i was coming from work and i was very tired i actually went to bed i told myself i'm going to sleep for two hours but i couldn't sleep you know that feeling when you're waiting for something especially that something that you have not prepared for <laughs> i was okay to be honest i was quite uncomfortable so what happened i i made sure the wi-fi is connected yeah make sure the wi-fi is connected and make sure uh i don't know who you stay with but just make sure they know you have an exam imagine me in 1 p.m in 1 a.m if i was living with someone what do you think would have happened uh maybe it's time to to, to, to put them somewhere, to tell them to go and sleep somewhere or just have the living room by yourself. Or, yeah, just have no visitors walking around and uh, people using your Wi-Fi. Make sure your Wi-Fi is speed. Have a place by yourself, somewhere where you can have your privacy because you'll be talking in the camera. And yeah, the Casper cameras will be in your house there will be you know they'll be monitoring you with the cameras so what happened in the exam date so yeah i i slept for two hours not really sleeping but i was just relaxing so i woke up um i logged in the, normally they tell you to log in 30 minutes before but i would tell you go there 45 minutes or even an hour before what they do they will test your microphones they will tell you to speak and you know observe if this and this happens you will know they will just guide you they will just guide you so well, actually how did we get there you will go to the email that they send you or just google the casper site and then you will see somewhere where it tells you the assessment so you press that section and then if it is your test it obviously you you have been reserved you have your assessment is reserved, so you will click there. And now, when you click there, they will test your microphones. You'll be told to speak, and then lines will be going up and down. I'm using a layman's language. <laughs> so people with technology can tell us what that is. So you'll be speaking, and you'll, be, you'll have lines. Do, 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 do. So if you see that, if your microphone is working, you press somewhere, and they say, yeah, that's working. They'll test your camera. They'll test your camera. Can they see you? Yeah, so you pass that. They'll also test the vol. Uh, we have said the microphone, yeah? Yeah, that one you have said. They will test your Wi-Fi, my darling. So, your Wi-Fi will be tested. How many? How, actually, how do you test Wi-Fi? I think mine was 1080. 1080. So, they'll test the... And let me tell you, if it is not strong enough, you're not going to go to the, you're not going on with the assessment. So if one of these things is not working, your microphone, your camera, your Wi-Fi, how will you go on? You will not. And now they will take you to the exam room. And to take you to the exam room, they will ask you to allow them to have the cameras on. To have the cameras uh, doing what? Monitoring you throughout the exam. You know, I was asking myself, how do they know whether I'm the one who is doing the exam? Huh? My dear, you, when you're creating the account, you will take a picture of you. And then when it is the assessment day, they will take a picture of you. That is the preparation stage. That's why I'm telling you, you have to go there, you know, uh, an hour before. Especially for someone like me who had not even go to the who had not gone to the assessment room at all. I went on that particular day. I was thirty minutes. So I was running. I almost got late, you know. So what you do, yeah. After that, so you've tested everything. So it's time for you to go to start the exams. So Casper, 
gives you 15 scenarios. And in every scenario, they will ask you three questions. And these three questions, you will answer within five minutes. So, how many minutes per question? So, two minutes, one question, two minutes, one question, and one minute, one question. That's how you have to divide it. Let me give you, let me tell you something. What happened with me? The first scenario, I was asked a question. It's, it's test, it's a test, it's a text. So it's a written, it's a written scenario. So you read, you're given 10 seconds to read. So you read the scenario very fast and then you have questions. So I didn't see the two questions. <laughs> what happened? I was answering the first question and I was, I was thinking, oh, this five minutes for one question is too little. So I answered and when I was four and a half minutes away, I realized I have two more questions under the scenario and I almost went mad. I thought five minutes were little for the first question, not knowing that I have two more. You understand? That is how Casper can take you marathon, can make you run. So yeah, that is Casper for you guys. So yeah, I just decided to, okay, I hear, normally I hear that they can consider your first answer. They will, they can, they are likely to know how you will answer the second and the third question, but I would want you to know you have three questions so be wise enough to share your time to divide your time wisely okay so where were we 15 scenarios three of them are te text based so they are written scenarios you read you answer the three questions you read you answer the three questions that is the first I think, I think there's a video on the same section because every section has got five questions so the first one I and I think you have two videos here. So you will have videos, you listen and watch, and then you'll have three. So every scenario has got three questions under them, you know. So the first section, you you you, you, you read and answer. Uh, you also have a video, I think in the first section as well, yeah. You will have videos, so you will watch, listen, and answer the questions in every scenario second section is video you will watch and answer the questions the same way you're doing so after the first section was given five minutes break it's optional and after every break you will have to verify your face although my cameras were on so i don't know what i was verifying but yeah you'll have to verify your face again when you're coming back but not to worry you'll be directed they'll just tell you verify your face they take a picture to see that you're the one who is doing the exam okay so yeah second section so you have a five minutes break and i'm telling you this break is very important imagine typing typing five minutes in three questions answering three questions in five minutes without a break you don't even have time to breathe so when i got the, the break i was like yeah i needed this i need to grab something hot to drink very fast and to use the washroom you know so it's a needed break and as much as they tell you it's optional you need it so the second uh the second section is video based so you watch you listen and you answer just the same way five minutes as well is the first one and then you'll go to the last section the last section is um the last section you have to sit in front of the camera and answer questions given to you they will ask you yeah i think it was written it was written you read something and you'll have to answer verbally i think they're testing your communication skill your eye contact your confidence all those things but yeah don't forget they want to know who you are as a person and that's casper what have i left what have i left out what have i left out so how many minutes does casper take Normally, it takes 100 minutes to 120 minutes. I started at 1 a.m. and I finished at 3 or 4, I remember. But uh, it's because I took a survey and it was really long. It was a long survey. Casper, you gave me a very long survey. And I answered every question faithfully. You know, but yeah. That's it. I finished at 3 or 4. And... Um, 
my opinions about Casper. I think they should give us more time to answer honestly in as much as in as much as they want to know the kind of a person that you are. At some point I felt like it's a punishment. You're asking me something and I know I can answer this. This is who I am, but I don't have time to express myself. You know, 5 minutes reading in 10 seconds, don't even have time to digest. Lang English is not English is not my first language, so you can imagine I need some time to digest it. And uh, you have to write it down, you know. It's too fast, it's really fast. I think some people will feel it unfairly. At least give us double the time or even seven minutes. Give us two more minutes. Okay, I don't know. It's just me, you know, ranting. And then, uh, do you need to study for it? Yeah, you can do a bit of research so that you can know how to deal with the situations. You know, failing Casper doesn't mean that you're stupid. It just means that, you know, the kind of a person that you are, um, I don't know, from where you've grown up, the kind of situations that you are exposed to, you know, you're not a fair judge, you're not an empath. It depends on so many things that can make you fail. And of course, the typing speed. You have to know how to type. And you have to know how to sit in front of your camera and answer questions. The confidence. Because the, even when you answer... Actually, when I was answering the... What do I call it? The video questions. Where a question is posed to you and you have to sit there and answer. I was... You know, if there's a timer... You still have yeah to answer three questions and okay there's a timer if the time is off you will be left talking to yourself the answer is submitted so you also have to to know how to answer it think very quickly talk very quickly and submit it not submit it will be submitted though so that's the casper for me uh you don't need to it's not like an m card where you have to, to read read the chemistry read the biology it's just you. Who are you as a person? Yeah, you can still not read anything and answer and score high marks. High marks. But yeah, I would advise you to do research. Don't be like me. Okay? I had worked in a support worker. And uh, I knew some of these ethics. And I would say it's just common sense and kindness. If you use good judgment, common sense, kindness... You will pass your Casper. So I wish you all the best in your Casper. And uh, in case of anything, you can comment down below. You can ask something. Because, you know, if if you've done something, you yeah, you, you know better, you know. Something I've experienced. So maybe I haven't told you everything. But I have an idea, you know. And yeah, I don't know whether I'll be able to link a video of me doing the Casper there to just see how I was. I haven't looked at it as well, but I think I recorded the whole thing. I'm obviously not going to put the whole thing there. It cannot fit, it's too long, but maybe bits of it. And if I don't, then I hope the video will be helpful for you. So cheers, guys. Lots of love and all the best. And don't be scared, it's very easy. You just need to work on your speed and... Uh, your inner being as a person, just be good. Love you. There's also another scenario I remember. Uh, so this question was, I mean the scenario, uh, you're working in a bakery and there's a new girl who has come to the bakery and there's somebody who is homeless and stays outside the bakery and he comes to ask for food. Okay, by the end of the day, you throw so much food uh into the bin when you're closing the bakery and this person just wants you to give them the food instead of throwing it it makes sense right so the person is just in need of food and the new girl is so kind and wants to give them the food and uh, the management does not allow you to give the food to this person so do you think would you report it when this girl is giving the food to the you know, to the to this guy, do you think it's okay for you to report her? And uh, how would you tackle this kind of question? First of all, when you're drawing this food, you have to consider 
okay, well, yeah, we have to be kind. This this person is hungry, they need help. And uh, this girl is not bad because her aim is to help. But there's an ethic here. There's an ethic here. The company does not allow you to to give this food, so you have to consider that as well. You know? So how I tackled this question personally, uh, I would call this girl and explain to her that the reason why we don't give this this person the food is first of all the com the company does not allow us to do that and there are issues that can arise to giving him food. Things like food poisoning. If you give him food and he gets food poisoning, it's the company that is in trouble because remember when you're throwing this food, it can look fresh, but there's a reason as to why you're throwing them. So you can look for other ways like talking to the management and letting them know that, yeah, this person need, needs help. So how can we, how can we, you know, how can we give, this person food that is not contaminated by the end of it all in, instead of throwing it to the bin like it's something you have to discuss with the management in as much as you are you have to put the person into consideration yeah he, he needs help look for avenues to assist him without causing any harm to the organizations and to him and to the worker because if the management finds out that she's been doing this behind her back behind their back she will be in trouble as well and you'll also be in trouble because you haven't reported it. You are, um, you're also a culprit in that. For lack of a better word, you're also covering a mistake. You know, so be careful when you're answering these situational questions. Don't put anybody in trouble. And don't, you know, don't look like you're not considering all the sides of the story. It's, just be able to present your case in an all-round manner. Consider it everyone, not judging every, anyone, and not uh, not looking like you're breaking the law. And, you know, yeah, you have to be kind, but you also have to be considerate of all, of everything around this situation. That is what basically Caspa is looking for. That is what Casper is looking for and you need to look for a way to put all those things in in a paragraph. A paragraph a paragraph that you write very fast. Don't forget that. So you have to be very quick in how you're putting it down. And then yeah, you have to be quick first of all before you answer the Casper.